You have your new RT Systems Radio Programmer. You've set up your file. You've entered all your channels. You've entered your names. You want these names to show. That was a copy and paste in that column. Your tones are set up. You've saved your file. And now you're ready to send it to your radio. So excited you're going to be all programmed up and ready to go. Communications send data to radio and oh no, an error message. You are required to do communications, get data from before you can send data to the radio. Right here, communications get data from tells you right there what you need to do. We clicked on communications send data to. This time we're going to click on get data from. But the first thing we're going to do is file new so that when I get data from the radio it doesn't disturb the file that I was working in. Communications get data from radio. It tells me right here just what to do. I'm going to hold the Monty T call while I turn the radio on, turn it to the clone option that it mentions, press the FW, it says clone, click OK, and press the push to talk. Now it's doing the get data from process. It's getting information from the radio that it can only get from the radio. The radio is telling the program that it's an American radio or from another country. It's telling it if it's modified or not to transmit outside the ham bands. Details that I can only get from the radio. And remember, if at some point you do modify your radio, if it is not now, you need to do this again and always into a default untitled file. Now that that's finished, I go back to my file with all my settings in it, all my information in it that I want to go to the radio. I do communication send data to radio. I turn the radio, hold the Monty T call while I turn the radio on. I turn it to F8. It says clone. I press the Monty T call. It's a Yezu radio. There'll always be something a little different on the send data to than on the get data from. Just pay attention to the screen. It's all detailed there. I verify the screen says RX and I click OK. And now all my new information is going to my radio. Anything that was read from, you saw there were some things on that screen when I did the get data from, that's all been erased and being totally replaced by what I see on the screen now. This process is a little bit slower. The radio is the little computer and the big computer can only talk to it so fast for it to be able to take what I'm giving it. When this finishes, the radio is ready to turn off, unplug the cable, turn back on, and you're ready to go. You have all these memory channels. Go out and play. Have fun with ham radio.